Luke, I am your father. How about Lion King? Simba, I will teach you the way of life. Right? I mean, how about this one? Feel the dreams. Build it and they will come. What? I mean, his voice was unbelievable. And I think the most famous one, this is CNN. It seems kind of weird that he's gone now because you're so used to saying, James Earl Jones, it's James Earl Jones. That's James Earl Jones, you know? And you go, oh, we're all mortal. You go, mortality comes through and you go, wow, he's gone. But he died at 93 years old. So I'm so happy that we had him for such a long time. Such a long time. I mean, that's probably 60 to 70 years of acting. He was a theater guy, you know, the uh, University of Michigan is where he went. I read his biography, which was fantastic. He stuttered between eight and 14 years old and then finally began to speak because he had a poetry teacher that had him read his poetry that he wrote. And from there, he just became one of the greatest orators in, in stage and film. All his great movies, I mean, Great White Hope, on stage and on film where he played Jack Johnson and he got nominated for an Oscar. I mean, Master Harold and the Boys, Bingo Long and the Traveling All-Stars. Uh, how about Claudine? Oh, come on, Claudine. He actually used to host a show called Black Omnibus. It was one of those local black shows, conscious shows when he was young. And that was the first time he introduced Paul Mooney. He said, this very talented comedian, his name is Paul Mooney. I mean, that was the first time he saw Paul Mooney on TV. And you know, one of his greatest movies as Prince Joffrey Joe Fur. My son works! Remember? Yeah, coming to America. I am Prince Joffrey Joe Fur. I'm looking for my son Akeem. Simi, you will go to the Waldorf Historia and you will clean up yourself. Hunt for Red October. It just keeps going and going. I wish we could call him Sir James Earl Jones. A guy like him should be knighted. I wish America was like England where you get knighted. Sir James Earl Jones, Madam Angela Bassett, Madam Cicely Tyson, Sir Denzel Washington. You know what I mean? Growing up, he reminded me of Paul Robeson, the modern day Paul Robeson, you know, Shakespearean, very regal, always doing very strong characters. And he, I feel like he was everybody's father or uncle or, you know, and had a great smile and his strong laugh. He really inspired me to always have dignity because in this business it's very tough to have dignity, man, especially people who look like myself. You know, it's very tough to have dignity and he always had it. You never saw a role where you're like, why is he doing that? Oh no, I want to thank you, Mr. Jones, for being around us for a long time and you will continue to inspire people with that powerful voice. And I hope when it's my time to go, it's your voice. Well, it's time to go, son. Time to join us up here. It's looking pretty nice.